Right, this is grade 2, module 4, lesson 27. <clears throat> we're going to be subtracting, and this time uh, the we're still going to be using the number disks, and we're going to be using the, the standard algorithm, but this time our subtraction is going to involve a bunch of zeros <clears throat> with that classic thing where you have to take 200 and then subtract from that 200, which often requires borrowing twice. So the idea would be students are going to learn that, okay, if I need value, I need dots in the ones column, I'm going to have to first borrow from the hundreds column and unbundle. So I'm going to unbundle leaving one hundred, and now I have ten tens, but that hasn't quite helped me in the ones column yet. So I'm going to unbundle again, leaving me with nine tens, and now I have ten ones. And so the idea would be, students are going to learn that they can do that, let's see, in two steps, like I just showed you. Unbundle, regroup, unbundle, regroup. So I just did two steps. Or they're going to learn how to do it eventually in one step, where they, they're they going to go, oh, okay, I'm going to unbundle. I'm going to make this a 9 and go straight to a 10 right here. So eventually students are going to become proficient at doing it in one step. But I think in for this lesson, for today, I'm going to do the two-step method. Uh, but ultimately, students who are ready to do it in one step are welcome to. All right, so we're going to do this on the uh, number disks first, on the place value chart. So we're going to model 100. So there's 100. And um, now we need to subtract 37. So I'm going to get this going. I'm going to write it down vertically. 100 minus 37. And teachers, remember to help them line up the ones and the tens column. And now we're going to, we need we need values in the ones column so that we could take away seven. See, we have nothing over here. So we're going to end up unbundling. And, of course, the students are going to see that we're going to end up unbundling twice. So we've unbundled, and we get ten tens. And now we're going to unbundle again and get ten ones. And now we can subtract. And we can say, oh, okay, we're going to take away seven ones because it says so right here. We have take away seven ones. So we're going to take away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that leaves us with three ones. And then it says take away three tens. So we're going to take away three tens, and that's going to be one, two, three tens. So when we take away three tens, we end up with six tens. So our answer is 63. Now, one idea would be, how do we know if we're right? Well, you can use our fact families, and you could say, well, let's take 63 and add 37 to make sure we end up with 100. And in this case, sure enough, we end up with 100. So it's, it, would, it would be a good idea to teach students that using fact families, using addition to check our subtraction problem. That would be a good idea. Now let's do this using that official standard algorithm. So we're going to begin by saying, well, we need to take away 7 from 0, which we can't do. So we, we're going to have to unbundle twice, all the way over here. So we unbundle 100, leaving us with zero hundreds, and that gives us 10 tens. And now we're going to unbundle one of the tens, leaving us with nine tens, and that gives us 10 ones. So I did it in two steps. So now we're officially able to subtract. 10 ones, take away 7 ones, gives us 3 ones. 9 tens, take away 3 tens, gives us 6 tens. No hundreds, 
Take away no hundreds leaves us nothing here, so we don't need to write anything. So our answer is 63, and of course, we knew that all along. All right, let's do another one, and we're going to begin with modeling on the place value chart, and we're going to start with our 200, and really I should have just started with writing it down vertically. 200 minus 57, making sure my 1s are lined up and my 10s are lined up. And because we know we need to take away 57, we need values, we need, we need dots in the 1s column. So that means we're going to have to unbundle twice. So let's do that. So we're going to unbundle one of these hundreds. That gives us 10 tens. And then we're going to unbundle one of those tens to give us 10 ones. So now we're able to subtract. It says take away seven ones. So let's take away seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That leaves us with three. And then it says take away five tens. One, two, three, four, five. Leaving us with four tens. And then it says don't take any hundreds away. But we already have one up here, so that leaves us with 143 as our answer. Well, let's do that using the standard algorithm. So we see that we need to unbundle twice. So we're going to unbundle one of these hundreds, leaving us with 100. And that gives us 10 tens. And now we're going to unbundle one of these tens, leaving us with 10 ones. <clears throat> so I did it in two steps. And now 10 ones minus 7 ones gives us 3 ones. 9 tens take away 5 tens gives us 4 tens. And 100 take away no hundreds leaves us 100. So we get the answer of 143 both times. And that Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 27, where we're subtracting with a lot of unbundling, especially because there's a bunch of zeros in our place values.